In this lesson and in a few coming ones, we are going to learn about the meanings of different houses. This can be a little bit tricky though, because houses differ quite substantially in their complexity. Some of them have a rather compact range of meanings, but others can have several different meanings, or meanings that are not easy to be outlined in a few words. So we'll start from the more simple houses and gradually progress to the more complex ones. The simplest house, in my opinion, is the second. It is about the person's resources, which often means just money or income, but in a wider sense it means movable property, which means all the stuff that the person owns, of the kind that he or she is able to move around. If this house is packed with planets, earning money is important for the individual for whom the natal chart was created. On a more abstract level, we can say that the second house symbolizes the person's system of values. And to understand that system, we study the planets in the second house. But we haven't learned anything about planets yet, so we'll leave this for a later lesson. Let's have a look at the natal chart of one of the richest people in the world, Bill Gates. He has a couple of planets in the second house, Jupiter and Pluto, very close to each other, which, as we'll learn later, is important. So we can say, yes, money is important for Mr. Gates, but is this the most important area of life for him? Which house is the most emphasized in his natal chart? One way to decide which house is the most important for a person is to simply count the number of planets in each of the houses. In the chart of Bill Gates, the most populated house is the fourth. But a more reasonable approach, in my opinion, would be to consider the importance of the planets occupying the house, using the same system of points that I've suggested in the lessons about the elements and the dynamic qualities. The luminaries get four points, the personal planets three, Jupiter and Saturn two, and all the others just one. If we follow this approach, then the fourth house still remains the most important for Bill Gates, as it gets 11 points. The fifth house is the second in, the, in importance with five points, and the tenth house follows it with four points. So, the second house of the natal chart, with its three points, is only the fourth in the rating of houses. So, what's the most important for Mr. Gates, then? The fourth house is about the immovable property, which is basically the real estate, houses, plots of land, or simply the apartment where the person lives, or the room that he or she is renting. It's the base where the person spends the night, relaxes, from where he or she goes to work. When the fourth house is packed with planets, it is very important for the owner of the natal chart to have, to have his or her own place of residence. They might spend a lot of energy to make it bigger or better or more comfortable. But the fourth house has another important meaning, the roots of life. You see, it's positioned at the bottom of the natal chart, where a tree would have a root. In human life, it's parents who gave life to the person and who are nourishing him or her, like the roots nourish the tree. And how about the parents' parents? Yes, they also belong to the fourth house, as well as all the ancestors. So, when the fourth house is emphasized, the ancestry the history and the traditions of his or her family are usually important for the person, as well as relationships with parents and grandparents. And there is yet another peculiarity of an emphasized fourth house. The person prefers to stand on his or her own, rather than depend on someone or follow other people. So, how did strongly emphasized fourth house manifest itself in the life of Bill Gates? One idea that immediately comes to my mind is that he is a founder of a complete empire, the software empire called Microsoft.
He is donating a lot of money to different causes through a foundation that he created with his wife. And this word foundation resonates well with the fourth house. He is standing firmly on his own. And of course, he's got an absolutely outstanding 4,000 square foot, $50 million house on Lake Washington in Seattle, which took seven years to build. That's quite a substantial piece of real estate. So, you see, in the case of Gates, money is important for him, no doubt, but the company he founded, his foundation, his real estate are a lot more important than just cash. And this gave us an opportunity to learn about two astrological houses, the second and the fourth. Enough for now, and in the next lesson we'll learn about another couple of houses. See you there!